Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Kitaku Bubako. Today we have a really awesome guest. I've been really meaning to talk to this person for quite some time now, and finally I got him on the show. We have Plushy Mistress. How you doing? Everybody, Plushy here, and uh, I am a FGO YouTuber, and I make well, FGO related content, and very glad to be on the show today. Uh, thanks, uh, Kida-shan, for having me on. No, again, so, thank, yeah, yeah, nice th to meet you all. Yeah, thank you for coming on. I really appreciate it. So, uh, yeah, I guess we have to start off with why the name Plushy. Like, how did, how did that come to be, and why do you oh. have uh, um, Camilla as, I guess, your Oshi, if anything? <laughs> that... <laughs> That, that's actually a very funny story because like uh, for a very long time people thought I was a girl because I mean the name mm -hmm. very much implies that mm -hmm. um, and it, it, it's, it's kind of a silly reason really because I used to make like little, little, little doll plushy doll things oh really just Dude. as a hobby yeah that's cool so I I, I made one of Carmilla and uh, my old profile pic is like the um th that an actual picture of that so i just named myself because you know carmilla is the i don't know i don't know why i named her mistress doesn't make any sense that was silly <laughs> <laughs> uh so so it, you know she, she's kind of like this um this a uh, noble woman kind of character it was supposed to be that the plushie it was it's not supposed to be me it's supposed to be uh... like the plushie was supposed to be my avatar and whatnot um, it started out that way. I didn't bother to change it. Uh, and then, you know, the, the profile pic evolved, kind of, uh, because my, my sister drew, like, an illustration of that doll, mm. uh, because she thought, okay, that fits better as a... Because it fits better than, a, that, like, like, a picture, right? Mm. A, a, as, like, a profile pic, if I want some kind of branding. Uh, and I was like, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. So, yeah, that, that's how I have my name. So, for a long time... Actually, I still got... I still get comments thinking... Because, like, I do make... Uh, videos where I talk in them, mm -hmm. but you know, sometimes people don't watch <laughs> not not everyone Not all of my audience watch those mm -hmm. so, <laughs> Some of them still thinks I'm a girl, which is really funny But uh, and and then like people in the comments who are playing them. Does he know like <laughs> How should we tell them? Uh, right, 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 uh, yeah, right. and yeah, I, I was yeah. actually gonna get into like the video content in a bit, but okay, that, that's interesting. I, I, n I never, I actually never knew that. I mean, I, I think I do remember seeing your profile picture back in the day, but at the same time, it, it's kind of foggy. But okay, that, that's interesting. Yeah, I, I wild, never though. knew that. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of silly, but yeah, it's a good, <laughs> good little backstory for a laugh, I guess. <laughs> mm. So uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, going into the uh, uh, YouTube realm, uh, so I. I can't remember exact. I, I forgot to research this, but uh, you started FGO content creating uh, for, for uh, you know a couple years ago, right? And yeah, uh, were you always playing it from the beginning? FGO from the beginning, or with, did you I start played with NA? NA, NA okay. since launch, launch okay. and it was another very funny story because I, I assume like like how do you get into FGO would be like a question. So uh -huh. uh, is it fine if I just answer it here? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, Cause yeah. it, it does kind of make sense. Mm. So basically I, I was never like a big, I, I was, I, I don't even watch that much anime and whatnot. I wasn't that like connected with like Japan media mm -hmm. in general. And I didn't play any gacha games. And then I, I had a good friend in college uh, that we met from playing Pokemon Go, actually, which is really mm, funny. Okay. <laughs> uh, and, and, and then he was like, oh, you know, there, there's this, uh, this is Gacha game that I was like, what's the Gacha? Like, okay, it's, it's just you know, it's this uh, you know Japanese game based around historical characters, and you can pull for characters and whatnot. He wants me to try it out because I was just okay, you know, sure. Me and my friend told me to, um, and then like I downloaded it, and I downloaded it in the wrong server because I was I'm using like an iPhone. I'm a sucker. I use <laughs> use iOS, uh, and <laughs> and uh, I, I I downloaded the NA version on accident because. Uh, I'm I'm from Taiwan, so we actually had a uh, we, we actually have a Taiwan server uh, oh, right, because right, yeah. they, they wanted to yeah yeah they wanted to branch off from the the Chinese server because they have like uh, stricter restrictions there. Mm -hmm. So there's like a Ch Taiwan server, but I downloaded the wrong one. But it was very close to NA launch. Like I downloaded it very close to when NA launched. I actually have the the Saber Lily from oh, the okay. pre. Yeah, yeah, the, the not from Saber Wars, like the actual like the actual extra copy yeah, of Saber. The pre, uh, the, what do you pre register copyright? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So I, I I started doing that, and then you know obviously I started watching YouTube content, and I was mainly inspired by 
Uh, I guess Hanako Green. I mean, I, I feel mm. like a lot of people re really is in uh, yeah. like at least for gameplay content ends up being inspired by him because I just wanted to you know show off my favorite characters and whatnot. So right. I started out doing only gameplay content. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that's basically how it started. Yeah, I thought um, I, was, I was actually gonna get into that, but yeah, continue if you have more to say. Oh, I, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I guess I'll let you ask the question because yeah. like then. Yeah. So yeah, like um, obviously in the whole FGO content creation, uh, there are several YouTubers that only focus on gameplay, like you just stated, Honoka Green, and of course then there's yourself, right? Uh, you mainly yeah. only uploaded gameplay video, so I thought, okay, this guy is pretty cool. He's showing up. He, uh, you and Honoka are showing all these different strategies in FGO, uh, being really creative mm -hmm. when it comes to team comps. Uh, is that like that? Are you attracted to the story or characters, or are you just like mainly focused on like oh. gameplay? Or oh, I, I'm attracted to the story. Okay. Uh, I mean, it, it's kind of difficult to not be attracted to FGO right. story, honestly. Which is like, uh, especially because like when I first got into it, I'm like, okay, I'm probably not gonna be into this. Mm -hmm. This is some kind of like weeb stuff I'm not into. But then I got really into it. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I didn't even. Uh, I, I guess I'm like more. Uh, I'm I'm what people call like a tourist because I did not. Her, I have not heard about Fate before FGO, which is like, oh, really? people are like, what? Yeah, yeah, people are like, how is that possible? I, I just never really was into like too many anime. I did watch some, but mm -hmm. uh, and but but then I, I got really into it. I really like the, the concept of, you know, using historical characters as servants. Mm -hmm. um, and then the, the whole story was great. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean. Okay. Yeah. I mean, like I honestly, I've never met anyone that doesn't really watch or wasn't really into the whole otaku culture and then get into fate like I, i've always known someone that like know the anime they've heard of fate but never really got into fate but they got into fate because of fgo kind of thing but that, that's pretty it's pretty rare to find people like you mm. <laughs> than to like fgo like that <laughs> yeah it's kind of weird because it was just like a friend's suggestion uh -huh. like it started out as something that i was expecting i would just drop mm. within like two weeks i was like okay it's, it's not gonna be a thing uh, because I, I was never that into those kind of stuff, but uh, like you know, FGO. Wow. They did something right. <laughs> they that is like proof they did something right. They, they hooked me. Um, who wow, was that, like that's, never really that's, into this stuff. That's so that's crazy because like with that, I mean, I I feel like the FGO content or the FGO community is like is great with you. So like to to see a world without plushy, that's kind of insane to me. I can't even think about that honestly. <laughs> uh, th thank you. That that's that's really high praise. <laughs> thank you. But yeah, I mean, that 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 was a happy accident, I suppose. Mm. I so you, you don't you, you don't play any other god. You don't play like any Honkai, you don't play any Genshin or anything like that. It's just straight up FGO. Um I did try to get into like Uma Musume when it came out because people told me it was good. Mm -hmm. I I the, the the one other gacha game I got into for quite deep, I mean, I'm still playing it, but like on and off, is Ark Knights. Oh, okay. I play Ark Knights. Mm. Um, yeah, but other than that, I feel like, I don't know if it's like, maybe I I spend too much time on FGO. I just feel like, okay, maybe I, I'd rather spend my time on FGO than another game. Or like, I I, I don't know. I, I During like my heyday, I guess, I, I was playing three servers at once. Uh -huh. um obviously i, I can't That's handle the, like, that anymore which is crazy i i can't even i, I did jp and na at a time and i yeah i stopped after i think uh not lb uh, i stopped after chapter i stopped after babylonia i was like i can't do this anymore <laughs> for yeah for it's, it's, it's too much i actually don't know how i've managed to do that because i could not because like I, i'm just like okay I'm, I'm doing videos for i'm still doing some content for like na but like in, uh -huh. in terms of actually playing the the server i don't do that uh, -huh. uh much anymore um and yeah i mean uh and also sorry back to the topic i yeah i only really play arc knights none of the other games that really stuck uh mm -hmm. with me i guess I, I don't know weird i also did try like blue archive because that was popular uh -huh. um and uh mihoyo games a little bit but i i i guess i just i don't know <laughs> uh, I, I'm, I'm a bit lazy Mm. Uh, or whatnot, so I, I just ended up sticking with FGO mostly. I mean, I, I'm sure there's gonna be a game that comes out eventually that I, I'm interested in, okay. uh, in terms of gacha, but yeah, as of now, it's mostly FGO. Got it. Okay, so, um, I know that, uh, again, we're, we're gonna go back to the, the video stuff, but, again, you started off with the gameplay, and then, I'm, 
I know you did some. <clears throat> excuse me. I know you did some videos with you, you know, uh, talking about FGO and stuff like that. But recently, uh, I've seen you. Oh yeah. Produce so like much more videos of you just talking about upcoming banners, servant, uh, how the servant works, and stuff like that. And I, I oh, mean, yeah. they've been they've been getting a lot of views, which is great and really awesome to see. Yeah. Uh, but I I think right now a lot of the FGO community. Uh, the fans in FGO are really looking at you right now when it comes to all this like uh, um, like how to play FGO kind of thing like uh, how, 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 yeah but I, I well, what made you transition from just gameplay and start talking about everything because like I mean you've, okay. made, you've made like a lot of videos that are pretty long like over 20 minutes and stuff like that and then, oh yeah oh yeah like how, how what this what made you decide to start doing that so this is actually a bit of a shameful story because like uh, I, I guess it's a good good time to like sort of apologize kind of because like I, I've been a very like abrasive personality I, I, I feel like uh, in the in the community for a while I've, I've been trying to be better but like sometimes I still you know go out of my way and do something really petty mm -hmm. um, and honestly the, the reason I started was like I was seeing some other reviews uh, because, like after I got into a game for a while obviously uh, Especially after I got into JP, because I got into JP after I saw Summer Carmilla, uh, oh. so I just okay, I couldn't wait. Uh, so, so I got yeah, yeah. So, so I feel like I I, I had like a decent amount of game knowledge, and mm -hmm. then I was looking at some other people's reviews, and it it started out from like a negative place. Honestly, mm -hmm. I'm not proud of it, but like it started out as like I'm like okay, I I, I don't actually think these people um, are are like they, they they're some some of their opinions I feel like are are not very. Are, are not very applicable at least from my experience and whatnot mm -hmm. so i was like criticizing them uh and then like after criticizing them for a while i'm like okay but maybe i should think about like how difficult it is to actually produce a spoken video because i had never actually done that like may maybe it's a lot harder than i thought it was and i didn't give them a credit so i'm like okay so you know you gotta practice what you preach right mm -hmm. so, so 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 i tried uh and I will say, you know, getting into this very much made me, uh, like, a lot more understanding, I guess, to some sometimes, like, some of my old criticisms to some, like, guide contents and whatnot, because mm -hmm. uh, it's not easy to feel, like, it's not easy to convey everything you want to convey within, like, a limited amount of time. Like, honestly, my ideal would be, like, 15 minutes max per video, but like sometimes I just talk way too much because I feel like oh, I need to give context I need to get what I, uh, okay. Yeah, it, it, it's not as easy as I thought so right. um, I, I guess it's kind of a humbling experience, but also it, it's kind of great because I, I do feel like like pure gameplay is kind of it, It's hard to like build your own personality first and foremost because like they don't even hear you talk mm -hmm. uh, for one so they, they don't really like you know know you as a as a guy, I guess, unless you're like a super OG, like X Nye, I guess. Mm -hmm. But like, oh, yeah. but uh, I, I feel like if, <laughs> oh, if I wanted I to build like, <laughs> yeah, he, he's like, he's like a super OG. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, yeah, I, I just thought like maybe it's a good opportunity if I wanted like build, build mm -hmm. like a personality or, or let people know me more as a creator. This is a, this is kind of a good, like a uh, medium for it so yeah i mean i've been enjoying it but mm -hmm. it's been a little bit uh tiresome uh, i i complain about this thing for uh, uh this thing very often off offline so i don't want to dwell on this for very long <laughs> but uh I, ha I haven't been able to make uh monetization because i'm on uh yeah. student visa yeah. Oh, yeah 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 I, I saw you post that on 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 twitter but uh yeah man, that, that I, sucks I, like you're you're, produ yeah. you're producing these like really good videos getting a lot of views and you're not you're not getting paid for it. that 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 that's hard yeah i mean i i've definitely considered like just leaving but i i, I don't want to because mm -hmm. there are like i i have fans and they they told me they really like what i'm doing so I don't want to like just leave, and right. also I, I I just want to get this out of the way because like I always like grab the opportunity to have an excuse to complain about it, and it just sours the mood. So <laughs> just get it out of the way here uh, about that topic. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I mean yeah. again, like I, again, like I I think you're one of the better FGO content creators, and like again, like I can't even imagine a world without Plushy and in the FGO that space. Is. So. 
Like, I, I'm, I'm glad you're still here. I really am. Th th thanks a lot. I mean, I'm not planning on going anywhere. I mean, I love the characters. I'm still mm -hmm. looking forward to like this year's summer roster, for example. Super hyped. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm, I'm just, I'm just always happy when it's FGO. Like, yeah. even, even when like stuff is looking bleak, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, especially recently, As ever since like FGO kind of had started having those like big, sort of uh, empty, dead weeks, I guess. Mm -hmm. In between, like people have been, you know, sort of been a little bit pessimistic every now and then, yeah. but. I've always been relatively positive because I, I mean, I, I love the game. I'm like, you know, just, just wait. When, yeah. when things come out, they're, they're gonna cook. <laughs> so this is this is yeah. this is also what I want. I re like, you're, man, you're just bringing up all the stuff I want to talk about. Like, this is what I'm talking about too. Like, I, I feel like you and I, like, are the like ones that always think positive for FGO, right? Like, yeah, uh, because like we 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 have seen some people, uh, other FGO content creators, or just just like uh non content creators too just talking smack on fgo uh they're like oh fgo needs to do this needs to do that mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. i think it's fine where it is i mean yeah they can they can add in you know some up updates here and there but yeah i feel like me and you all right we're we're always defending fgo in some way and uh, I'm, I'm, yeah I'm, I'm glad to see that you know i have someone you know that's doing the same <laughs> yeah yeah i mean it, it's just I, I guess I don't really have that much justification sometimes. Like, sometimes what they're saying is right, you know, FGO doesn't have a really good you know, pity system, for mm -hmm. example. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm not trying to discredit their opinion on that, but uh, I, I, like, I, I, I think I did admit it in, the, in one of my tweets where I basically said, I don't necessarily have a really good justification all the time, but I just get very annoyed whenever because like i i i think uh at least that's this is how i see it right mm -hmm. i i think the com the community like fg is a very old game mm -hmm. and the community is not stupid mm -hmm. so the community they know what fg needs to change yeah. like 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 they, they they know what's wrong like like we all know like yeah, oh you know we know, the, we, the... we know it needs we, something needs to happen but yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I, I i don't think we need like the, the the new big gotcha of the of the year to teach us the same lesson again you know right, what i mean so right. mm -hmm. I, I i personally don't like the the the, the way they're comparing them because right uh i'm i mean i, I don't want to be too abrasive but like like yeah I, i've seen definitely i've seen takes where the people are saying like fgo feels outdated what because yeah. they don't have 3d models i'm like what are you talking i mean, oh, right, yeah. talking I mean we'll, 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 let's get it out there we we know we, we know what you're talking about we're talking about the mo the recent one about like oh we, we need a genshin like open world like fgo that uh Kaoya yeah. musaki came up with um i mean I, I, no disrespect to musaki i, I like yeah, him. I, yeah. I think he's I mean, awesome and everything but like I, I get what you mean like, that, opinion, that whole yeah. conversation about fgo needs to become genshin kind of thing like uh, yeah, I, I don't like that view yeah. for sure. I, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I, I think it's valid to criticize FGO like always. Mm -hmm. Like I, I have been open about criticizing FGO uh, with like some decisions, mm -hmm. but like at the same time, I, I just think FGO can find its own solutions. Right. And I, yeah, and I mean, like I've, working, I've been right? really appreciating the two D <laughs> sprite work. Yeah. yeah, and I've been really appreciating the two D sprite work uh, yeah. of the game. Like I don't necessarily think three D is is like but always you know, going to be a better show i, I mean I, we, we've seen arcade like, yeah I, I, I think people just don't understand um how the how fgo 2d is worked like i, I don't think they because like I, i'm sure you've seen it like the famitsu articles where they revealed like how they make these 2d sprites and everything like the, all the yeah, all the parts. yeah. I, I don't think everyone has seen those i think that's why they're kind of like we, that's why we want to see yeah. 3d but there are some servants that actually do get the 3d treatment and everything like that yeah yeah, but, yeah. yeah they, I, I think another reason might be like how mp spam centric the game is played right now because mm -hmm. i like i i honestly feel like like people always complain about mp animations being like oh it's, it's the t pose front facing zoom uh, yeah, and yeah. i mean they're not wrong but like I, I feel like honestly a lot of the modern servants their normal attack animations are really pretty yeah but you just don't get to you don't have a lot of opportunity to see them because how the game is played is mostly just spamming your mp which kind of right. kind of sucks honestly mm -hmm. uh kind of like undermines how good the game looks sometimes yeah. i would say mm -hmm. yeah yeah like uh, that's yeah I, you know i didn't really think about it in that way but yeah i i completely agree mm -hmm. yeah. and maybe i mean that that's just maybe one of the reasons yeah. <laughs> i i, I assume. <laughs> yeah 
Okay, um, so I, I know you have your own podcast with Auto Bean. Like, how did that come to be? Like, uh, did you meet Auto through, uh, like, from streaming? Or? Oh, oh, uh, yeah. I, I just tuned into his streams and I, I watched some of his content uh -huh. because. Oh, by the way, I... what was the name of your podcast again? Uh, it, oh, it, Smartcast. It's not... oh, okay, it, it's yeah, on yeah, Auto's it's silly channel, right? I think if I'm not. Yeah, mistaken. yeah, yeah. It's okay. on Auto's channel. Okay, yeah. So, 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 uh, yeah, I met Auto because. I mean, I, I just ran into his channel one day. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it might have been one of my Discord members that recommended oh, okay. his channel to me. I forgot uh, for gameplay because uh -huh. I was that, that that was during my like really toxic stage. It was like, OK, I, I can't find like a, a lot of FGO content I, that I want to watch anymore on, on the platform because mm -hmm. they're either talking about stuff I already know or they're talking about stuff that I disagree with. Uh, and then they're like, oh, you can check out this like small, smaller YouTuber where he does like kind of in-depth stuff occasionally and I'm like oh you know he seems nice and then I I watched a couple of his reviews and then it, I was like okay this is a lot of in-depth stuff like there's stuff that I even I'm not really certain about and then we, we kind of became friends and we just chatted normally I tuned into his streams he joined my server mm -hmm. like we kind of just talked but he had the idea because he's like um uh, th this he told me like this feels like a uh, underexplored area in terms of FGO content mm -hmm. um, for like podcasts, which is also interesting. How uh, you, uh, you you probably thought something similar, I guess, because like it, it really, there really isn't an. I, I guess there was one, another one, I think. FGO podcast. I know, I, I I know their studio Mega. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, that's probably what it was. Yeah. Other than that, I don't know if there are any other ones maybe musaki from Keldea gurus maybe the, the, that group did some but i i can't remember like the only yeah the only known yeah. one that i knew at the time was studio mega but then of course yeah yeah yeah. Is. yeah it definitely feels like i mean he told me it, he, it definitely feels like a more um underexplored mm -hmm. like like part and i i do need like someone like him to like push push mm -hmm. me for like content ideas sometimes because like I'm more kind of a, you know, a stick to my comfort zone kind of guy. Mm -hmm. It actually took me so long to like actually try spoken content when like, it, obviously, you know, the reason I mentioned earlier, but also like people have been asking for it sometimes like, oh, you know, why don't you talk about FGO? Because mm -hmm. you seem like you know some stuff. Yeah, so I I'm, I definitely needed a, a push from someone like him who has like more ambitious ideas uh -huh. a lot of times uh so so i was just like okay sure and you know if i just have to show up i, I love yapping about fake grand order <laughs> <laughs> so if i just have to show up every sunday i'll show up every sunday uh i mean we did eventually like, try to come up with ideas together sometime for episodes and whatnot but yeah hey. initially it was just him yeah wait are you are you guys doing this live or oh we're doing it live on Twitch, live yeah. okay okay Dang. yeah that's cool i mean yeah we have been running out of stuff to talk about recently because like i mean since events been three weeks usually mm -hmm. it's like because we do it like weekly as well mm -hmm. it's almost like a chat room like mm -hmm. sometimes we just have like we just chat with chat mm -hmm. like it's like a q a back yeah, and yeah. forth um kind of casually yeah. okay that's cool like i actually i i took i watched here and there i haven't watched a full episode yet of your podcast or i haven't really caught a stream of your podcast but i do watch like, i mean things here and there and um, I'll, I was like, oh, you know, these are some pretty interesting topics that you guys talk about. So I, I do I do enjoy um, the conversations that you guys have. So and Otto, I see, I see. Otto is so. definitely someone I want to talk to as well, because I, I actually did not know uh, about Otto until your guys' podcast started, you know, uh, coming out. Yeah. 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 OK. Yeah. He, he's kind of an underrated. Yeah. Creator, in my opinion. I think so, too. Yeah. 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 Again, like, ever since I. Uh, found out about him I, i've been kind of uh looking at his videos uh, watching his videos mm. and like uh checking out his streams h here and there um so yeah he's he's definitely i, I feel like he's very underrated in the fgo community for sure yeah the the the, the podcast episodes are usually very decentralized though mm -hmm. so like usually the the topics only last for the first like two hours and mm -hmm. then like we just we just refuse to end stream for some reason and then we just keep on talking uh -huh. so yeah so so I, I guess that's a guide to how to watch you just like watch the first all right um but uh yeah okay so you have the podcast so you said that every sunday you guys do that right 
Yeah, more or less. I mean, sometimes uh, sometimes we take breaks. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah, really definitely. If you guys are interested, check out their podcast every Sunday. Uh, who whose stream is, is uh, or whose channel is it on? It's on Autos. Uh, it's on Autos okay. channel. Yeah. I'll leave Autos uh, Twitch uh, Thank down you so below much. as well. So, yeah, definitely check that out. Thank um, you so much, man. But okay, um, like going back to FGO, uh, or we've been talking about FGO, but going back mm. to the gameplay and stuff, like, what do you think FGO needs? Because, like, I mean, we talked about, like, oh, hmm. we, we know what FGO needs, but in your opinion, what does FGO really, really need? Okay. So, I mean, I've been, I, I've had, like, arguments with people on, on mm -hmm. Twitter uh, about this topic, and I've definitely changed my opinions, mm -hmm. uh, more or less. But I really hope they de-emphasize farming. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I mean, obviously, you know, better... Better uh, pity, because I've definitely seen like a fair share of people on, on my server just get destroyed by the gacha, and then like if they right. can't really afford to whale, it's it sucks, right? Right. But I really hope they uh, de-emphasize farming because, in my opinion, yeah. right now, uh, if you want like top uh, efficiency farming, which is what people are doing for ninety plus plus. Obviously, you can just do 90 plus or you can do like four turn, five turn. Honestly, I've been mostly doing 90 plus plus like inefficiently, quote unquote, uh, just doing like four turn, five turn runs because mm -hmm. it's a three week event. Right. I don't really need to rush, mm -hmm. but I, I, I get that's what people want. And like, I, I feel like the game really has become like the, the conversation really has become like a, mostly about how, how this character farms right. and whatnot. And um. I, I think that sort of dumbs down how a character is played, because uh, because like any character that doesn't really have a lot of farming viability, they are fun, but you know people are like, what? I'm I'm doing like one challenge quest every three weeks. Like why do I, why do I have to care? And one challenge quest every three weeks, and then like what? I have most like three main story chapters a year. I I there's no real justification to roll for like more non-farming centric units and, and at the same time like good farming units are also usually pretty pretty good at right. challenge quests mm -hmm. so uh, and, and also this whole like repeating i just don't like the idea of farming i know it's been like in video games even since before gotcha yeah. and like rpgs mm -hmm. uh it's it's just a, a way to artificially bolster game a uh, play time yeah. I, I i i understand you can't remove farming but i do feel like if you were to lock part of the rewards behind non-farming content and you only have to clear it once but it requires you to use a little bit more brain power mm -hmm. uh and instead of repeating it might be a little bit better and also another thing is i do feel like pulling for like high mp copies of a character actually matters more for farming mm -hmm. because for challenge quests i do find myself you know handling stuff fine with like mp1 you uh, damage dealing units, but like yeah. for night plus was farming a lot of times you're like, oh, this, this is unusable below MP3 and I'm like the game has become so expensive if you want like top efficient farming like once again, you don't have to but that's what people want mm -hmm. because of how farming centric the game is. Mm -hmm. I guess this is one of the the takes I can mention that isn't echoed by everyone because like if I just say something like, you know, better, better pity or better gotcha rates or fix four star split rate ups like mm -hmm. Dang, man, that last year's summer Bavanji gave me a lot of trouble because of that. Um, but, but, uh, and, and also, I guess another thing, even though everybody does echo this, uh, is servant coins. I personally really dislike the idea of servant coins. I think servant coins, I mean, it's obviously a financial decision, but right. personally, I, I think servant coins is probably one of the, the most unhealthy things added to the game. Um, I agree, because I, I agree with that, yeah. Yeah, I, I feel like grailing in the past was like uh, a dedication uh, of your love for a character. Mm -hmm. And even because I, I've often hear people like, okay, even though I don't have the money to pull multiple copies of this character, I can still grail them to max level to show that show my dedication. Now you can't even do that without certain amount of copies of a unit mm -hmm. because of servant coins. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I just overall, I don't think they're going to like, remove it obviously they're not but i do hope they can improve it maybe make like all servant coins of the same rarity universal this is like uh i mean we, we've, we've bounced around this idea like how to fix servant coins around uh, during uh smopcast a lot 
um, and this is by one of the other content creators I know, mm -hmm. uh, Rio Emerald. He 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 said, and I really like this idea where he said like I think all five there should just be five star servant coins, four star servant coins, three star servant coins. Oh, two I star. see. Yeah, there, yeah, yeah. It shouldn't be be, be tied to like one unit. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I, I agree. Like, I, at least that would sort of at least, ease the... A, yeah, at least add yeah. something like that along with personal servant coins. I, I think that'd be fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah like some kind of universal. Yeah, Because yeah, yeah. the, the, the amount is just ridiculous, right? Especially for four stars. Yeah. Like, four star, like, four stars is what not a lot of people are talking about, but, like, I'm pretty sure for a non- story lock non-limited four star if you want a maxed out copy even like if you consider like bond grails and super high bond level i think you need like 15 copies or something ridiculous like i, I yeah Which is, I, like, I remember someone did the math yeah I, I think it was something like that yeah yeah like, like who's gonna be able to pull 15 copies out of their account to, just for that yeah. like it's kind of ridiculous to me mm -hmm. um and i i much prefer like I know class score is also really tough to level up because it's very material heavy, mm -hmm. but I much prefer like farmable in-game materials over just spending money. Mm -hmm. Like I think MP levels is enough of an incentive to to make you spend money. I don't think we need another incentive to make you spend money. Mm -hmm. So yeah, uh, I guess to summarize, it's to de-emphasize uh, de farming mm -hmm. and... Uh, I guess um, a servant coin fix anything mm. this anniversary. Mm. I hope, <laughs> uh, and and also I guess not a not a not something I want to change. But I I'm actually really glad they stuck with Grail Fronts because I, I know a lot of people don't like that game mode, but well, they kind of I, I feel like it's tried like, to push I, it. Stuff. I think it's really really fun. I I, I like Grail Fronts. Yeah. So I don't I don't know why. Yeah people, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't know why people hate it. I really don't understand yeah. that. It's, it's definitely split amongst the community, but I, I think devs should be like rewarded for innovation. Mm -hmm. And I'm actually pretty glad that they they didn't like cave to I, I don't know if even if they read, you know, people's feedback, honestly, but like at least I feel like maybe during those uh questionnaires people did put they don't like girlfriend or whatever. And I'm glad they they didn't listen to it and they're just like, okay, you know what? I'm going to push the game because there really isn't a negative to, to try and experiment with new stuff and mm -hmm. I do think you know for a nine-year-old game some form of innovation definitely helps more or less mm -hmm. yeah uh, so yeah that's that's how I feel about it yeah I mean yeah thank you for that that, that was um really it, it was really awesome to hear your input on that because again everyone has their own opinions but I uh, for you to say something like that and like you know for me to like be like yeah you know what he's right that that's that's awesome. <laughs> mm -hmm. but okay. Thank you. But yeah, uh, so we are going a little bit over the time here. Uh, I don't want to keep you too long. Uh, so yeah, uh, again, well, thank you very much for coming on on uh, the show. I like, really appreciate you to, to, you know, to use your time for this. <laughs> oh, no problem. No problem. Uh, I, I also got to thank you. You just came back from work or something like. Oh, uh, yeah. Is... Don't, don't worry about that. Like This is this is not yeah. big, so. <laughs> Oh, I also heard you 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 got the uh, you got the tickets to the oh to the yeah festival yeah I'm, I'm JP yeah, I'm yeah I'm going to FGO Fest uh in the congrats in, man yeah thank you like surprisingly like got be... yeah surprisingly got both days which is very rare so uh -huh. <laughs> but yeah I'll, yeah I'll be heading the out. fact that you still have the raffle for that yeah kind of shows how popular it is still I guess <laughs> <laughs> yeah I mean if there's anything you want just let me know I'll, I'm at the event anyways so <laughs> oh nice yeah. Nice. But, I mean, you can always buy it online too, so it's whatever. Yeah. But yeah, just let me know if you need anything, and I'll, I'll try to get it. Because like day two, oh, day two, I'm able to buy. Uh, because like uh, it, it, it was really weird because they have like uh, I actually I actually kind of like the new system that they use this year because they always change it every year for some stupid reason. But uh, uh, this year, uh, it was like they hey, they're like hey, um, we have just entry ticket or we have ticket packages where you can get entry and go to the merch line. Uh, ticket, mm -hmm. merch line, and uh, stages, or, you know, ticket stages, uh, entry ticket, and do this and this kind of thing. Like, so they 
they uh they did this so that they can obviously control the the line and everything like that crowd control uh -huh, kind of thing uh -huh. but um yeah day two i was able to get the merch line and entry ticket and then day one it was, it's just fine. only entry <laughs> so i won't be able to go to the stages unfortunately i would have to watch the stages from afar i see I yeah see. so which really sucks yeah, <laughs> yeah. i wanted to, i wanted to be up front and with everyone during the uh the final stage but oh well yeah, during the reveals. Yeah. They, they usually reveal... Actually, I forgot. When do they do the reveals? Is it day two? Uh, so, like, day, like the, so, day one, so day one, um, during uh. the, sta the staff talk, uh, that's when they're going to uh -huh. reveal the summer servants. That's where they usually... Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember or give now. a sneak peek, right? And then day uh -huh. two, final stage, is the... the what do you call that? The anniversary. Anniversary stuff. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So those are the only two uh, stages where they're gonna re uh, they're gonna reveal stuff. But I do think they might reveal something during the the Fate Stay Night panel, the twenty anniversary panel. Oh yeah, I think, oh, yeah true. I, I think they're gonna reveal something there at, at least. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we'll see. That's cool. Yeah. But yeah. Um. Wh so where can the audience find you at? Oh, just on YouTube. I just currently on only have YouTube. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. you don't do Twitch. No, I don't do Twitch. Oh, okay. uh, I, I'm too lazy to have a good setup uh, okay. for it. I'm currently just using like a USB mic mm -hmm. and a, a laptop. I will be moving soon because mm -hmm. I am m moving to a graduated into another school. So okay. Congrats on that. I'll probably thank you. I'll, I'll probably get um a better like like an actual not laptop PC mm -hmm. uh, when I get there. Uh, because I've been holding off on that, I don't want to like have to move a PC. Yeah. Uh, so it's so not, yeah. Not. So maybe <laughs> maybe. Yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah. Um. I'll leave uh, Plushie's links uh, down below his YouTube, his uh, X, Twitter, and then again I'll be leaving Otto's uh, Twitch down below as well because every Sunday they do a podcast live on Twitch. So definitely check those out. Give him a follow, a subscribe. Uh, but again, Plushie, thank you very much for coming on. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me. That was really fun. <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. Hope to see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.